morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video my name is austin and i work at full line ag a farm equipment dealership located here in this beautiful province of saskatchewan today first thing we find ourselves at a canola field <laughs> we're actually going to visit a customer for a second day in a row uh, i went yesterday to visit them and help them get up and running uh, with their swather they were having a little bit of gps issues uh, their header was kind of pressure locked and air locked up uh, so we had to relieve some pressure off of it um, and go out there and kind of help them get going but i decided i wanted to come back and get some drone video get some more video of them swathing and that's where we find ourselves right now this saturday morning if you can see all those grasshoppers hopping around everywhere we can see our headlands of our canola are cut here is the canola all swathed into these big swaths the headlands have been done and they're just behind that tree line there uh, doing their main passes <laughs> swath is somewhat different than other areas of the world and especially the western canadian canola swaths are truly like none other these swaths can be pretty big and mighty they can take a lot to be put into a combine you can get some beaver huts we call them <laughs> where the canola swath it kind of mounds up and it can be a little bit of a pain to harvest sometimes so we're gonna go and check out this swathing, check out what it's all about and get some sweet drone video. But I wanna point this out, out also. Look at that beautiful wheat field. This wheat field looks like it'll be ready to get combined sooner rather than later. But it still only is August 13th. So we are a little bit early, but, but some swathing is underway. So let's go get in the drone and check it out. Here's a quick pro tip. If you get your truck really muddy and the underneath gets caked in mud, a very, very good way to get it cleaned off is actually to drive in that canola stubble. The trucks are kind of right at that right height where that canola scrapes along the bottom and you can actually clean them off pretty dang good. And sometimes it's a lot easier than using a pressure washer. As we can hear, <laughs> that canola is just scraping on the bottom side of the truck. Just about to get picked up and jump in and do some swathing. Jumping into the 9435 with the 30 foot header. big 
40 foot header up there gobbling away and same with this nice 30 foot It's incredible how straight those are. <laughs> no GPS. No GPS. That's insane. So now we're in the 9960 with the 40 foot header. Ten feet longer than the other swather over there. Coming to the headland, lift up our header. We turn, engages his auto steer and lowers down his header. We're cutting once again. It was the smoothest turn, but it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got lots of power on it. That's the, this 40 foot header is just so giant. Squeaking through little things like this, you really have to be careful and you have to maneuver yourself really well. customers with their two massy swathers and show you a little bit of the action with those. This crop is now going to sit for about two weeks before they decide to come in with their combines and clean it up. So it'll be here for a little while longer before they're back. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. It's a little too hot out for me to be wearing a long sleeve shirt and pants. So I'm getting in my truck, turn up the air conditioning and hitting the road. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.